Hello, welcome to this video. It's a set of videos on the indefinite integral. We're going to start with derivatives. There's a bunch of derivatives that you already know, and we're going to, in this set of videos, look at reversing that process. My name is Nakai Rimmer. I'm happy to help you through this journey. Let's get started. So you know the trig derivatives. Sine's derivative is cosine, and cosine's derivative is sine. Tan's derivative is secant squared. You know that. Great. What about those reciprocal derivatives? You might not know those so well, but we need them, okay? So cosecant's derivative is negative cosecant cotangent. Secant's derivative is secant tangent. And cotangent's derivative is negative cosecant squared. All right, so the six trig functions and their derivatives. How about the exponential? Well, that's the one function that has itself as its derivative. Well, then how about a generic exponential with the base of a? Itself as its derivative times the natural log of a. Natural log of x? 1 over x is its derivative. How about log base a of x? Well, 1 over x, but an extra factor of the natural log of a in the denominator. And if you're unsure about any of this, please go to my integral calculus, or my, my differential calculus playlist, and you can go and see where all this comes from. We want to take, here, take it from here and go further now. Inverse trig functions and their derivatives, these are the three main ones. And then the um, hyperbolic trig functions and their derivatives. These are the three main ones. All right, so we want to work on reversing this process. If you see what's on the right, then we'll get, want to get work backwards and get to the left. If you know the derivative, we want to be able to say who it is the derivative of. That's where we're headed in this process of finding the anti-derivative. Before, we were just given a function, asked to find its derivative. Now, we'll be given a derivative and asked to find the function who has that as its derivative. It's like we have the answer we want the questions, like Jeopardy. The answer is 8. What's the question? What function has 8 as its derivative? 8x. Actually, you could also add a constant to that because the derivative of the constant would be zero. It won't contribute at all. So plus c for a constant. All right, this is great. How about um, taking x to a power? Much our, many of our functions are polynomial functions, which have, a, have a, a multitude of terms that are of this form x to the n. How about that? It turns out that the derivative of x to the n if, if x to the n is the derivative, the function who that is the derivative of is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Okay, plus a c. And all of these, we'll put a plus c because adding a constant won't change anything. Okay, uh, this is all good unless n is equal to negative 1, then we have a problem. But we've seen what to do with that. Well, we will see. <laughs> all right, so here's an example. What function has as its derivative x to the fourth. According to this rule, it has to be x to the fifth over five. So it's, what we're doing is the power rule, but we're doing it in reverse. This over five part, the over n plus one part, is to cancel what, what would come down from the power rule. Okay, plus a c, of course. What if you have a whole series of these, a bunch of these added together? A polynomial is built up of a bunch of terms just like this. Well, we'll do each term separately. What, what about a constant? Uh, you know what? Just carry the constant down and focus on the x term. So the function has 3x squared as its derivative is x cubed over 3. Those 3s actually cancel. 2x cubed, 2x fourth over 4. The 2 and the 4 cannot cancel, but, you know, the 2 can cancel. And then minus 5x plus a constant. All right, great. Well, I don't want this video to get too long. Let's just do one more. What about if your derivative is sine x minus 3 secant squared x? Let's get some trig in here. What function has sine x as its derivative? Not cosine. You'd have to do negative cosine x. What function would have tangent squared as its derivative? It's, I mean, secant squared as its derivative. I gave it away. It's tangent. So you carry down the minus 3. All right, great. So this video, I don't want it to get too long. Um, let's stop the video here and we'll pick up 
with many, many more examples where I give you a derivative, maybe if I give you a second derivative, and ask you to work your way back to the function. All right, great. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment down below, and if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out to me. Uh, thank you.